Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this fun ornament shaker. Um, it's great for just, I mean, I was gonna use it as a gift tag. I don't know, it's super extra. <laughs> um, you could, I guess, use it as an ornament on your tree even. It's super, super cute. So anyway, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I really do appreciate all the support that I can get on my YouTube channel. Okay, so uh, let's get going. The main ingredients, basically, um, are Barely Arts Cubies. So we're going to be using the Cubies to create basically that space, that wall to house the confetti. The confetti that I'm using is actually like cupcake sprinkles and stuff. I love the colors. Um, and so I... I just decided I'm gonna go with confetti from now on. Um, and I'll mix in like polymer clay and um, glitter sequins, things like that. But I am in love with these cupcake sprinkles. Plus I have been, I don't know, down this rabbit hole of watching um, people do cupcakes and cookies and decorating all of them. So I don't know, maybe that's what it is. It's, it's <laughs> I'm being brainwashed uh, slowly. Um, but anyway, that and then we're going to be using barely art glue so it's a barely art kind of day um all right i will have the youtube tutorial for design space this is a super simple file basically what it is is this is the file itself it is an ornament with um it's all one piece with snowflakes here it's delicate and it's beautiful it's simple i love it um but basically what you will do is you make a duplicate copy of this so that you have your backing. You're gonna to go to contour, hide all. So now you have your backing. You're gonna have another one where it's the acetate layer, right? Because on top of this, we're gonna put the foam, sprinkles inside, acetate layer, this on top, and then you're basically done. That's all that it is. You can add a name, which I did in this case, I love it. It's super thick and super pretty and that's pretty much it i um you know this one's specifically for sarah i'm gonna do one that has a penguin i don't know if i'm gonna put the penguin in there i have some options i did that one i also did the pink so you can see it here with the sprinkles i mean i don't know i can't decide which one i mean this one's pretty too oh let's let's do let's do one of these <laughs> we'll do one of these okay so the easy part let's go and go ahead and put the foam around it so this is the foam strip it is a quarter of an inch so it's thick um i know when we're using foam tape we're used to seeing one eighth so one eighth compared to the one fourth this one is it just feels so thick all right basically you're going to rip off a strip and we're building our wall so we want to stick close to the edge okay so i'm gonna start mm, i don't know where i'm gonna start actually all right i'm gonna move it so that i can actually see it i want to be at the very edge of this but not over and press down when you're doing it because we want to basically activate the stickiness and it's super easy to do um a lot of times before I would cut the foam on my Cricut Maker using the rotary blade and I would cut a foam sheet. But this is so much easier than cutting a foam sheet, I must admit. So I was doing it all wrong before. Okay, so I want to press it down because like I said, I want to make this really sticky. The nice thing about Barely Art is that the stick is really good so once you've activated it I mean it, it, it's safe um, okay so we've got that down I'm gonna pull off another strip and I'm going to just put it right up next to it I am going to try to seal it a little bit with glue with the barely art glue and we'll get to that in a second I just want to make sure that, and I'm not using any small sprinkles, so it should be fine, but um, it doesn't hurt. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And you can see on this one, 
it's almost like a perfect fit. So I'm just going to press down the new one that we just put on and it's so thick it feels weird to actually press down. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's, um, let's build our penguin to see if we want to put a penguin in there. I haven't quite decided. <laughs> so here is our penguin. I've got some pieces. Let me move this over and we'll build it right here. All right, I'm gonna move this one aside. This is the one that's done. And these are so, I mean, this is, this penguin, this uh, snowflake file ornament is uh, in design space. It's a Cricut Access um, file. And then this penguin is a free download on the Barely Art website. So stinking cute. Let me move this. The light there. Um, okay. Oops. So I used um, black glitter cardstock. And let me see. This is basically our template. <laughs> it's a bigger version of the penguin, isn't it cute? I think it's so cute. All right, um, what do we need to put on next? We need to put on the hat. A scarf. Hmm. Let's do the mouth first. Um, let me get some tweezers. Okay. I don't, you know, one of the things that I forgot that I did the first time around when I used this file was I grabbed all of the pieces, the hat, the feet, and I welded it so that I had a full penguin. So instead, the way the file was designed is there's the penguin and then you glue the hat on top. And so there's not like a back layer holding everything, which I would have preferred a full back so that I can put the feet on. So for instance, half the feet are gonna be hanging off of the penguin, which I just don't love for stability reasons. So I'm gonna hold this here. side on okay then I'm going to put a little dot it's going to be this little beak oh shoot Let's hope I can get it in time before the glue dries. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. I lost my favorite tweezers. So now I'm fumbling around with this one, which I don't love. <laughs> All right, let's see. So that's down and then we've just got the two eyes. So 
So Barely Art has um, quite a few SVG files um, on their site. They're free, so um, I would just always check it out, you know? It, they have a lot of fun files on there. Um, basically what you do is you go onto their website, um, you go under products, and they have an SVG tab, and then you can go and find all the fun files. All right, let me, let's put uh, this hat down. Did I put this hat the wrong way? Do, 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 do. Nope, I didn't, okay. <laughs> And then the scarf. And then the piece on top for the scarf. Let's get a good one here. So the scarf, I think, is thick enough that we could put foam tape on here so that it can pop up a little bit. I'm just getting rid of all the little pieces that didn't come off when I took it off the mat. So give me just one second. Okay. So we could do it where, let me see. No, the piece is too big. Okay, let's just glue it down. a cute little penguin <laughs> okay so we could put the penguin in here we we can do two things so we can put this and the penguin on top which actually might be cuter I think I'm gonna do that okay so let's finish up this piece so we're going to pour in our pretty confetti or sprinkles okay and then we want to get out our acetate layer. Let's glue our acetate to our top layer here. So I'm just going to put glue all around here. Now we don't want a lot of glue because the acetate is not, it's not going to let it dry really quickly. So, um, kind of want to just dot the glue here because we don't want it to get messy and, and for it to run on the acetate into the open areas. Okay. So I'm going to hold it like this. And because I'm using the precision tip and I dotted the glue, even though the glue is spreading, it's not spreading out into the open area. It's really, really pretty. So you can see it's super clean, ready to go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the outside where the edges meet, where the two, um, not that I think anything is, and I'll even put it on the inside. It's okay, because it's just a little piece. I honestly think we're okay. I might put it there and here. Okay, then we're gonna pull off the, the tabs. Put 
put this on top. pretty right okay so let me show you the two this one has a different background it's got like it's um, printed paper basically so it's in those big um, bundles that you could buy at Michael's when they go on sale it's usually like $20 in the pack uh, for the pack and then it's on sale for like $5 so this has like a purple ombre kind of effect and this one is just pink cardstock it's hard to tell the difference between the two um i don't know which one i love yet <laughs> all right so on this one we can put the penguin right here and i would put foam tape or something for it to to for it to stick out a little bit um the other thing is i did do a minor minor offset just a little bit of gold peeking through um so you can you can barely see it but it just makes everything so much prettier um Oops, I forgot to punch a hole. So you know what, let me do that now. I don't know if I can still do it. I'm gonna have to do, we'll have to punch a hole later. I forgot to do that in design space. Do it in design space and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, all right, so I've got that and that's it. It's super cute and super simple, right? And look at how fun that is. I think this will be adorable as a gift tag. So, all right, I will see you next time. But look, so cute. All right, let me know what you think, what you want to see. I will see you guys next time. Bye.